The dawn of the new millennium brought with it a renewed obsession with thinness. The fashion industry embraced a size zero ideal. Magazines were filled with images of waif-like models and celebrities, glorifying extreme thinness. This era pressured women to achieve an often unattainable body type. The pursuit of thinness became an all-consuming endeavor for many women. Crash diets and excessive exercise routines became commonplace. Eating disorders were on the rise. The message was clear. Thinner was better. This message permeated popular culture, leaving many women feeling inadequate and insecure about their bodies. This societal obsession with thinness had far-reaching consequences. It impacted women's self-esteem and shaped their relationship with their bodies. The early 2000s painted a very narrow picture of beauty, leaving little room for body diversity and acceptance. The pressure to conform to this unrealistic standard was immense. It left many women feeling trapped in a cycle of dieting and self-criticism. The early 2000s served as a stark reminder of the power of media and its influence on body image. The media played a powerful role in perpetuating the thin ideal of the early 2000s. Celebrities like Nicole Ritchie and Paris Hilton, with their ultra-slim physiques, became the poster children for this trend. Their images were everywhere. Magazines, tabloids and nascent gossip websites chronicled their every move, further solidifying their status as fashion icons. Magazines, too, played a significant role. Airbrushed and digitally altered images of models became the norm, creating an unattainable standard of beauty. The message was clear. This is what you should aspire to look like. The problem was, this ideal was often achieved through unhealthy and unsustainable means. The constant bombardment of these images had a profound impact on women's self-perception. It fueled body dissatisfaction and anxieties, creating a culture of comparison and competition. Women were made to feel that their worth was tied to their weight and size. This era marked a time when the media's influence on body image was at its peak. The message was clear and it was everywhere. It was a message that left many women feeling as though they were not enough. As the 2000s progressed, a counter movement began to emerge body positivity. This movement challenged the narrow beauty standards that had dominated for so long. It encouraged self-acceptance and appreciation for all bodies, regardless of shape, size, or color. Body positivity advocates used their voices to challenge the media's portrayal of beauty. They promoted self-love and acceptance. Social media platforms still in their infancy became instrumental in spreading this message. People from all walks of life could connect and share their stories. This movement gained momentum. It celebrated diversity and inclusivity, encouraging women to embrace their bodies. This marked a significant shift in the conversation surrounding body image. It offered a refreshing alternative to the restrictive and often harmful beauty standards that had prevailed for so long. The rise of body positivity signaled a move towards a more accepting and inclusive definition of beauty. It provided hope for a future where all bodies are celebrated and valued. Just as body positivity began to gain traction, a new trend emerged that seemed to contradict its message. The resurgence of Y2K fashion. This trend, characterized by low-rise jeans, crop tops, and a return to the ultra-thin aesthetic of the early 2000s raised concerns about a potential step back in the fight for body acceptance. This resurgence was fueled by social media with platforms like TikTok and Instagram flooded with images of influencers and celebrities embracing the Y2K look. While some argue that it's simply a harmless fashion revival, others worry about the impact it might have on body image, particularly for younger generations. The return of low-rise jeans in particular has sparked debate. This garment, often associated with the pressure to have a flat stomach, can be triggering for those who have struggled with body image issues. It has reignited the conversation about the pressure to conform to certain body types. The resurgence of Y2K fashion highlights the cyclical nature of trends. It serves as a reminder that the fight for body acceptance is far from over. Today's media landscape presents a confusing mix of messages about beauty. On the one hand, body positivity continues to gain momentum, encouraging self-acceptance and diversity. 
On the other hand, the resurgence of Y2K fashion and the continued prevalence of thin ideals in advertising and on social media create a sense of contradiction. This duality can be particularly challenging for young people who are bombarded with these conflicting messages. It can make it difficult to develop a healthy body image when faced with such opposing ideals. The pressure to conform to both the thin ideal and the body positive movement can feel overwhelming. It's important to recognize that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to beauty. Navigating these contradictory messages requires a critical eye. It's crucial to be mindful of the messages we consume and to focus on developing a sense of self-worth that is not solely based on appearance. Section 6. The double-edged sword of social media, amplifying both body positivity and pressure. Social media has undoubtedly played a significant role in shaping contemporary beauty standards. On the one hand, it has provided a platform for body positivity advocates to spread their message of self-acceptance and inclusivity. It has given a voice to those who have long been marginalized by traditional media. On the other hand, social media can also exacerbate body image issues. The carefully curated feeds of influencers and celebrities often present an unrealistic and unattainable standard of beauty. The constant comparison and pressure to present a perfect online persona can be detrimental to self-esteem. Social media's algorithms can also create echo chambers where users are primarily exposed to content that aligns with their existing beliefs and preferences. This can reinforce negative body image perceptions. While social media has the power to promote body positivity, it's essential to be mindful of its potential downsides. Section 7, a look back in time, the ever-changing landscape of beauty ideals. The pursuit of beauty is not a modern phenomenon. Throughout history, beauty standards have evolved and transformed, reflecting the cultural, social, and economic values of the time. From the voluptuous curves celebrated in the Renaissance to the androgynous look popularized in the 1920s, ideals have constantly shifted, proving that there is no one definitive definition of beauty. These shifts demonstrate that beauty standards are not fixed or absolute. They are fluid and subject to change. What is considered beautiful in one era or culture may be perceived differently in another. Understanding the historical context of beauty standards can help us to critically evaluate contemporary ideals. It reminds us that the pursuit of an ever-changing standard is often futile. Section 8, Celebrating Our Differences, The Power of Diversity and Beauty. True beauty lies in diversity. It's about recognizing and appreciating the unique qualities that make each individual special. It's about challenging the narrow and often unattainable standards that have dominated for far too long. Embracing diversity in beauty means celebrating all body types, skin tones, hair textures and abilities. It means recognizing that beauty comes in all shapes, sizes and colors. It means challenging the notion that there is only one way to be beautiful. Promoting diversity in beauty requires a collective effort. It involves challenging media representations, supporting brands that embrace inclusivity, and celebrating the beauty in our differences. It's about creating a world where everyone feels seen, valued, and represented. Section 9, a call for inclusivity, redefining beauty in the 21st century. As we move further into the 21st century, it's time to redefine beauty. It's time to move beyond the narrow and often harmful standards that have dominated for far too long. It's time to embrace a more inclusive and empowering definition of beauty that celebrates diversity in all its forms. This requires a conscious effort to challenge the status quo. We must support brands and media outlets that promote diversity. We must use our voices to advocate for greater representation. We must teach the next generation to embrace their individuality and to celebrate the beauty in their differences. Redefining beauty is not just about changing how we look, it's about changing how we see. It's about recognizing that true beauty comes from within. It comes from confidence, self-acceptance, and a deep appreciation for the uniqueness of every individual. Let's create a world where everyone feels beautiful in their own skin.